Dr. Rodriguez, you spent many years yeah. researching HIV, hearkening back to the time where there was this new virus, nobody knew what was going to happen with it. I feel like that's where we're at right now with Ebola in terms of nobody knows. Uh, absolutely, and that's what's of concern to me, and I think to most of us, it's, it's scary. I mean, you gotta remember what happened in HIV. There are 50 million people worldwide that are infected with that and like 30 million deaths. So this is growing at such a rate, you know, that it's of concern. And you read statistics, there was a World Health Organization person that went there and said they can only get the address of 20% of the people wow. that are in contact. So therefore, with Ebola, you have to contain it and it's not being able to be contained. And there was another study. So to me, it's not a question of if it's coming over, it's when? just a matter of when. Well, so you look at these there. stats, it said, okay, recently it was, oh, 5% chance of coming to the US, and then it was up to 18%, which is where we're at now, but I don't like that progression. Oh, 5%, no. 18%, is it gonna be a 100% chance, you think? I think eventually it's gonna be a 100% chance, don't you agree? Oh, there's I just agree. no, There's just no way it can't be. I mean, be. I think the thing that we have to understand, and we have to kind of uncouple what the president just said about the need for a, an orchestrated, aggressive, global response, it's not just our responsibility, but we do have to play a, a major role, of course, is the fact that we live in a global society yeah, today, and there's a, as much as a three-week incubation period, so it stands to reason as Jorge yeah. said, that well, someone gets on a plane, they're not sick, they have been exposed, they're here in the United States for two weeks or more before they become symptomatic, but and that is the problem. What I want to bring up here, because we haven't talked about this, so this is being called Operation United Assistance. Our government, which I'm glad we're finally being proactive, so we've been reactionary, I think, since the beginning. We knew this was a problem when we first started yeah. talking about it. Mm -hmm. It's gotten bigger, we knew it was going to, but we're gonna send 3,000 military personnel there. We're gonna do our best to prepare 500 healthcare workers there per week. We're trying to do these things, but think about this. We're sending a lot of Americans now over there who My don't head. necessarily know how to protect themselves. What if they are there, then they come back on a plane? That's how these things to me. Well, that's, that's, that's the downside with this containment program that we're trying to contain it there, but we're sending our own uh, professionals well, what to try to contain. Tea, they tea have tea to come back at some point. The professionals that we send over there, particularly our troops, are going to be quarantined for sure. some weeks. And, and that's what they're not doing in Africa. Before but all, they come back over. Right, they're but what scares me too, the high percentage of healthcare workers that are coming down with this. Up there, it's like 10 or 15 percent, right there. So you think that we should know better, people that are treating this disease. And then the unspoken thing that we're going to speak about is that there's so many people with this, and it isn't just that you have one virus in your body; you have billions of viruses. And every time that viruses makes more virus, there's a chance that it could make an error, and that could be a mutation. And that virus could turn from a virus that you just transmit through blood to a virus that is airborne. So that's why it has right. to be contained. And what people have to understand, which is why HIV has been so difficult, is that these viruses are continually changing, changing as they go from person to person. Now, now granted, it is a, it is a huge, you know, the, 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 the possibility that this could mutate into something that becomes airborne all of a sudden, they're saying, is, is a very slim possibility. But I challenge that because we're, we're getting healthcare workers that are saying, I've been protected the whole time. That's what I'm afraid I've, of. I've worn the suit. You know, so how, how, how did, did I, I end it? up in fact? I, I think so there's a lot more that we don't know. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the Doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.